Brandon. It is that a smiley face, Mindy. It is because I love you. I should have done so a That is so precious. Wow, thank you so much. I feel just so today, right though. Now. Just yep. today. Hello and good morning everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. We are starting out this day. That's more like the afternoon. But we have the Ravelli girls over at our house today. We have Savannah and Leah came over after school and they're gonna play for a little bit. I had the coolest opportunity this morning. I got to go to the kids' school and help outside. No parents are allowed inside the school right now. But I got to help outside do a Charlotte's Web Fair. I got to have fun with Brexin. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, Brexin, choose one. Softly punch it. <gasps> Ooh, see if there's one more thing in there. There might be a third. It was such a cool experience. He got to take a stuffed animal to school today. So he took his shiny dolphin that he got from the Atlantis when we went swimming with dolphins, right? Mm -hmm. And it was so fun. Each stuffed animal got an award. Tell us what your award was. Most flashiest. The most flashiest. Ooh, that is definitely true. Look at this little guy. He is so shiny. We had tons of fun at Brex's party today. Mm -hmm. I got tons of candy too. You got tons of candy, caramel apple, cotton candy, Sprite, all good treats that he got to bring home and eat. Yep. Now we're having lunch. So, hi Savannah. So the kids have their after school lunches. They have chicken teriyaki today. And then we made these cute girls easy mac. The yummy Leah. Yes. Hanging out with the Ravellis all day long because you guys tonight, we are gonna gather again and we are gonna go with the Ravellis and the Hansons and have a little dinner up the canyon. We're gonna build a fire and make tinfoil dinners. I have never made a tinfoil dinner. Smash the like button below if you have made one. Am I the only person that's never done this? Cause I'm a little embarrassed about it. Sarah said she's gonna come over and help me have all the ingredients I think. We're gonna make a yummy dinner tonight. Brexton has started a little bin of water beads, hoping that those will get nice and big for him and Savannah to play with. Hazy and Leah were upstairs having a dance party, then they decided to play with Barbie, so they're having a ton of fun. Rye Guy's doing chores. I think Kruby is working on some homework. All good things happening. We are really trying to soak in these last few days where it's gonna be a little bit warmer weather. This weekend, it's really cooling down though. Let's get ready for those chilly days. It is bright out. I mean like blindingly bright right now, but mm -hmm. it's also an insanely warm day. It's 78 degrees right now. We're like almost middle of October. However, we got Cruz last football game of the year of the season going down today. I don't want to take all the credit, but last time we did a little practice pass in the front yard before his game, scored three touchdowns that game. So we're trying to bring that mojo back for his final game. Do some passes out here in the front yard, trying to get our eyes used to the sun, our hands used to catching that ball. And then we're going to go to Cruz's last game of the season. He's hoping to score how many touchdowns? Two. Minimum of two. Three would be next level. Oh yeah. Hi. And as you guys know, on Wednesdays, we have a few things going on. So today, Hazy has dance day. Do you have music today or not? Cancel, okay. Hazy's got her dance today at the same time as Kirby Doo's game, so we kind of pull a little double duty there. Thankfully, they're very close to each other, so while she's at dance, mom will drop her off, come over, catch some of the game, then go pick her up and finish watching the rest of the game. I think you're gonna be able to make it to a lot of Crew's last game. Yes, I ha I'll be able to make it to about 30 minutes. Okay, that's good, that's about half, so. I just had to go change my clothes because I was in a sweatshirt. It's hot, you guys. It's warm out there. It's almost 80 right now, and the sun is so bright, I couldn't even see, that's why I had to come in here. But before mom runs off with Hazy tonight and takes her to dance, she's going to be building up our tinfoil dinners with our neighbor Sarah. And poof, just like that, she's here. Okay, guys, we know nothing about building tinfoil dinners, cooking for ourselves in the wild. We brought over an expert, our neighbor Sarah. Sarah knows how weird oh, patties hey, are like It looks like she's got done. things really set that. up here. You know, wow, and those look like lean and mean. Okay, mom, you got some catching up to do. You guys build some tinfoil dinners. I'm actually gonna run Hazy to dance and crew to his football game. And then we and will then see you, you there a little bit later. When dinner's ready. Sarah 
has taught me the ways. So first, we're gonna start with some spray. We're gonna spray our foil. Then, we're going to grab a handful of potatoes. I'm making crews right now, so his isn't as big as the mama and dada ones. Put some potatoes. We're gonna put some carrots. We're gonna put some corn. Then, we're gonna put some cream of chicken soup. Then, I'm gonna go in with some chopped onion, salt, pepper. And because it's crewby, I know he's gonna want his favorite, Santa Maria. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on top. And then, we're gonna put beef on top. I'm going to add shredded cheese and then we're gonna wrap it on up. He told me the trick is to wrap it twice. Make it really flat so that it cooks evenly. We're gonna wrap it once, we're gonna flip it and wrap it again. Then we're gonna write his name on top. Done. We just finished those up. Sarah's the best helper. Now I know what to do and if my dinner's gross, I know who to blame. It won't be gross. <laughs> it will not be gross. It's gonna be amazing. There is some stuff that we put in there that I would have never even like thought to. Like I didn't know to put the soup in there. We had a great idea to do Santa Maria or some Italian seasoning. So that'll be fun. I finished just in the perfect time to clean up and go to cruise game. Crew dropped off at his game, got Hazy dropped off at dance, but I came back and I thought it would be kind of fun to take the nine bot and one wheel down to the game today because mom's gonna meet us there in the van after she picks up Hazy from dance. Getting the nine bots out, getting the one wheel out, getting our helmets on, and heading down to Cruise Game, riding in electric style before we head off to the canyon tonight for yummy dinner and some fun with fire. <laughs> Successfully completed our scooter and one wheel ride all the way down I here. Did you get us on Insta Story? I did. Pulling a in. Okay, bit, so yeah. you gotta check out on Instagram at This Is How We Bingham us pulling up here. I stopped filming for a bit there because I got kind of crazy on that busy street. So I took the camera away, just focused on getting here. We made it, we arrived, and crew is on the field right now. Get back, get back, get back. Colin, get back, get back, Colin. Get it, crew bay! Yeah. Switching up our clothes, get into some dirty clothes that can get smelly like a campfire. I gotta say, I will admit this. We are Wait, not. Am I gonna have to wash my hair? Like this year? We are not outdoorsy people. We are not one with nature. Are this is not really I our have thing. Summited Mount Timpanogos. That's actually true. So, in that regard, yes. However, we don't do like the whole dirt, fire, all that other stuff. But we are going with some experts. We're loading up our food. We're getting into a little bit warmer clothes because it should be chilly in the canyon, especially once that sun sets. Mom's got the tinfoil Bye. dinners. I got the drone. So, let's get in the car and let's go. We've arrived at our spot, our site. We're gonna be setting up here. We got two picnic areas now. It's technically not super rough, and now we're not making a fire in the woods. They do have designated fire pits. We've got two locations we're locking down because the Ravellis are coming as well. Our neighbors, the Hansons, are gonna be cooking like 15 tinfoil dinners. So we need a couple of fires to heat those up, setting up chairs everywhere, and just gonna make a night of it, you guys. We've got dinner, some fun food. We've got desserts. We're gonna be doing s'mores. We're just gonna hang out here until it gets too cold. We can't stand it anymore, or until we get eaten by bears. There's one right there. Good. We're, look, we're looking good. Wow. We got the fire raging here. It is pretty dang big. Like I'm very stoked and impressed on this fire. And he started it with his mind. Like that was crazy. <laughs> he just looked at the wood and said, ignite. Fire! Now I think mom's got the tinfoil dinners over here. We're yes, I packing do. Them out. Look at that. And they're even labeled in names so we know who's is whose. Crew, now what is mine? Like double meat? Yeah. Or how do you know what mine is? Brandon. It is not a smiley face, Mindy. It is because I love you. I should have done so a part. Wow, thank you so much. I feel just so today, though. Now. Just yep, today. Just today. <laughs> Dinners are cooking back at the campfire. We're going on a little adventure, doing some exploring. Yeah. Let's go yeah. explore. I'm a tour guide. We've got our tour guide, Izzy, up there. Brex Hi. and Savannah, are you guys the tour guides as well? Yeah. There's some beautiful leaves, trees. Yeah, trail is quite yeah. nice. I think we're trying to find a fun Princess. spot where they have like a tele... Oh my gosh, look at these leaves, you guys. How beautiful is this spot right here? Wow. That's awesome. That is very picturesque. Oh, hi, Brex. <laughs> up here, they said you can see Mount Tibinogus, so that's what we're trying to find right now. What kind of is beyond this bridge? 
Holy cow, this is gorgeous. Okay, so hold on a second. Can you actually look through these yeah, and see? Yeah, can you like see that? Oh there? yeah. That cave? I'm just gonna say, probably the best tour I've ever had. That was a very thorough tour. I feel like I really got to see everything. Plus I really enjoyed some of the history you shared with me about the area. Yes. Oh, you're not done, okay, you're not done. So we put the kids' dinners on first. Now it's time for the adults. If there was one person I had to be stuck in the mountains with and I knew that my survival depended on them, it would be Craig Hansen. He builds a mean fire, he loves to take dirt naps, and he knows everything about the outdoors. He's created quite the fire here. First dinners are coming off. Let's see how we did. Right, guy, this is your tinfoil dinner. Look at that. So we got burger, cheese, potatoes, sauce. Oh my gosh, Cheetos. Got everything. Pasta salad. That looks and smells amazing, right, guy. You gotta taste it and tell me how it is. They're not visually appealing. <laughs> How was it? It is fantastic. I just snuck a bite of mine and it is like stupid good. Yeah. For being like a bunch of random stuff thrown in the tinfoil put into a campfire and then consumed in the woods, See? very this good. This is amazing. Who said eating isn't good in nature? <laughs> Seriously, you can eat really we good. We made these and put them in our oven. Because yeah. they're, they're, really they're good at home too. Yeah. yeah, this is delish. I'm loving it. You guys did this a pretty decent job putting these together. Pretty good decent, assembly. Pretty yeah, decent. pretty good. Just finished up our dinner. I think everybody enjoyed it. I think it was delicious all around, but everyone's favorite part, the thing we've been waiting for all night, are roasting s'mores on the fire. Hi, Look at this. Hi. <laughs> Trying to keep these from catching on fire here as best as we can. We got all the kids around the fire pit right now. But this is really probably the best part about any camp out or camping or going into the woods or any nature moment is roasting s'mores over an open fire. It is only 7.30. When you're out here in the woods, it is pitch black. There are no lights to be found anywhere. So we are packing a flashlight to bring stuff back to the van right now. You guys had a fun time though? Yeah. It's been pretty awesome. Packing up camp now, here. grabbing our chair. It's kind of hard to see where it's anything like is. pitch black here. Like you're not even on here at all. I know. Mindy's in here I'm somewhere, right guys. Here. But we are just kind of like wandering in the dark. Yeah. Hazy, we're over here, sweetie. Just packing up the chairs, folding things up, putting the fire out. They have these nice convenient fire buckets that you can put fires out with. We're just using the flashlights on our phones to see what we need to grab and pack out of here tonight, but it's been a ton of fun. back home and we officially need to go take a shower. We smell like smoke. We smell like smoke. We gotta go jump in the shower. Covered Do in dirt. Do some laundry too. But we had so much fun. It was so fun. We built a mean fire. Yes. Our little dinners that we made Delicious. were so good. The kids all ate them actually. I was very surprised. I was impressed by that because to look at it they're not the most appealing visually as yeah. far as presentation goes but they were delicious. Yeah they were really good. It was a great night. Looking forward to tomorrow. Make sure you come back tomorrow. It's always a great time here. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night everybody. Bye. Oh, you're not done. Okay, you're not done.